Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. It's time for a lovely tea TV shout out. So as we all know, summertime is here. Folks are about to start looking for jobs. So if you want to stand out to hiring managers, I need you guys to go and check out Relieve Designs. They basically design professional modern resumes for people at a really good price. Make sure you guys check out the pinned comment down below. Okay, so I have some more Drake tea for you guys. And we all know Drake has been going through it, honey, okay? I was running through the six with my wallet. So Pusha T dropped the story of Adion, and basically everybody has been looking at Drake differently. The side, goose right in the side. Let's have a heart to heart about your pride. Even though your mold's high, I see that your soul don't look alive. The M's count different when baby divides the pie. Wait, let's examine why. Your music for the past few years been angry and full of lies. Now, supposedly, Drake was back in the lab with a pen and a pad, and he was ready to come out with a really cold Pusha T disc. And Jay Prince from Houston, Texas, yes, that Jay Prince, okay, he put an end to everything. So right now, social media is kind of feeling some type of way, like, okay, Jay Prince, why are you getting involved? Drake is a grown man. Let him hold his own nuts. Why are you getting involved in this whole beef situation? So I want to go ahead and play you guys this clip of Jay Prince talking to Sway in the morning. This was this past Monday. And he's talking about why he wanted to dead the beef, that it was getting way too serious and way too hot. And he basically does not want another Tupac and Biggie situation. Go ahead and check this out. You talk with Drake and you told him to no longer respond to Pusha T. I can't, you know what I mean, ask Drake. I wouldn't want to sit back. I know his character. I know who he is. And I understand the business perspective around all of this as well. Mm -hmm. So... You know, I couldn't advise him to go ahead and, and, and get in the pig pen with this man and, you know, it wouldn't forget be good about business. everything yeah. you built. Yeah. yeah. It w it wouldn't be good business either, right? No, no. So he, he did have a response ready, though, huh, Jay? Oh, no doubt about it. You, you heard it? <laughs> <laughs> well, let me say this here. The ingredients, the, the, the ingredients was overwhelming. You know what I mean? Mm. I know for a fact that... Uh, it would have been bad for Kanye and my man. You Oof. know what I mean? It Had just, that song got out. Yeah, yeah, it, it just wouldn't be good, you know, from... It's, it's, it's beyond music at that point. Yeah. What kind of stuff did he say, though? <laughs> <laughs> This is an OG call. I'm keeping it. OG. Fuck. All right, so you guys just heard an interview with Sway. Now, I can't help but to thank this, okay? Jay Prince, since Monday, has been on every, you know, radio platform promoting his new book. Basically, the story of his life and him with the ghetto boys and, you know, how he became the Jay Prince that we all know today. He has a long history in Texas. He's about that life. A lot of people know Jay Prince, and they respect and love his family. Respect. Nigga, respect ain't giving. You got to demand that shit. And if you ain't never earned it, then you'll never understand that shit. Because the game can get so intense, it don't make no damn sense. That's why I'm dedicating this poem to the most respected nigga in the United States of America, Mr. James Prince. And so basically he's been promoting this book. And so pardon me, I feel like the reason why he's getting himself involved in this, granted, he does mentor Drake and him and Drake have a very close relationship. But I also feel like he's, you know, getting involved to basically help promote his book. Because let's keep it real, the younger generation doesn't really know Jay Prince like that. They may know Jazz Prince and Jay Prince Jr., but they may not really know much about the father. So what better way to promote your book and create a buzz than getting yourself involved in the Pusher T and Drake beef, okay? We see you, Jay Prince, and I'm not mad at you. You do what you got to do, okay? Now, my thing is this. I do feel like, in a way, you know, I want to hear the damn diss. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if Drake, you know, went to the studio and he put together some fire... I 
don't want to hear it. I don't think we live in this type of climate where another Biggie and Tupac situation would happen. I don't think it would ever get that bad again. But, you know, who knows? But if Jay Prince says that he doesn't want Drake to do a diss track, then that's just what it is. Kanye West also took to social media to speak on this. And he said that he's not about, you know, beefing and stuff like that. Which is funny that now he wants to say that after the story of Adion came out. Now he wants to say that, you know, he's just about peace, love, and positivity. Kanye, shut your ass up with that short-ass damn album, okay? And yes, I listened to the Kanye West album. It was okay, but he has damn Twitter rants longer than that damn seven-track album that he released, okay? The album was okay, but it left me wanting more. Kanye, go back to the lab with a pen and a pad and bring out some more music. Don't just drop seven tracks and keep it damn moving. Anyways, back to damn Drake, okay? So if you guys don't know, Drake has quietly, when I say quietly, he literally tiptoed back to social media they found him in the comment section of an underground Toronto rapper's comment section on Instagram, okay? So this is what Drake had to say. So the rapper's name is The Real Smiley, and basically he's reciting Smiley's lyrics, okay? So Smiley posted something and Champagne Poppy liked it. So The Real Smiley says, if you don't hear my album, go stream that. Um, then he says, he says, go stream that. There's literally 71 comments. And then Drake creeps on there. He's like, black bands, no friends. So people notice Drake in the comment section and they start talking to him. And one guy says, ask Champagne Poppy, when is the reply coming? And then Drake replies, nobody really knows what I've been through. And then somebody else says, ask Champagne Poppy, congrats on the baby, I think. And then somebody else says, OVO forever. I can do nothing but laugh. Drake is just really acting so sad and melancholy right now. And I understand the embarrassment. I understand he's hurt. You know, Pusha T, you know, basically, you know, blasted him, put his son out there, got him attached to, you know, Sophie, the shit I've been saying for a year now. So I can see him being hurt. But at the end of the day, Drake, this, this is Drake. This is not going to kill Drake's career. People are still going to support Drake. They're still going to buy his album when it drops. We're still going to go to his concerts and everything else. Matter of fact, when he announced his concert, damn it, I ran and bought a ticket. We're going 10 damn deep, okay? This was before the whole beef situation. I already bought my damn ticket. I go to every Drake concert when he comes to the Twin Cities. So I'll be here this time. So really, to me, it, it hasn't done anything to really affect him. I am giving him the side eye, but I've been giving him the side eye for knocking up the damn porn star. But it is what it is. That's between him and Sophie, you know what I'm saying? So I don't think this is going to ruin Drake's career, but it's going to make him look less innocent. He's going to look less like a ladies' man. He tried to be that perfect, you know, playboy. You know, I'm really sensitive and I care about the women. Now we're all giving his ass the side eye, okay? We're not buying none of that lovey-dovey shit no more, Drake. You can't feed us shit and call it sugar, Drake, okay? We see through the bullshit. And now what's even more interesting, okay? I got some more damn Drake tea. If you guys don't know, another girl, she was creeping in the comment section. Basically, she's accusing Drake of being her baby's father and not coming to see her son, okay? I'm going to go ahead and show you guys these screenshots. Go ahead and check this out. All right, so you guys just saw those screenshots. You guys saw her DMing Drake. So now my tin hat is tingling, okay? I was trying to figure out who this girl was, if this is a new chick. Now, if you guys remember last year when I did the video, before he knocked up the damn porn star, there was a chick that was shaped like a damn donkey, okay? Go on, write that donkey, donkey. Go on, write that donkey, donkey. Her name was Layla Lace. Let me go ahead and refresh y'all's memory. Go ahead and check this flashback. You know, to me, this whole situation is just messy. I'm not surprised at all. We all know that Drake likes his girl so thick that everybody in the room will be uncomfortable. And, you know, the way she's shaped, 
yeah, she looks like she'd be Drake's type. You know, um, from what I heard, Layla is a stripper in New York, and we all know Drake has a thing for strippers. I see a lot of folks saying that, you know, Drake would never knock her up. He's too rich. He can afford condoms. But if y'all don't know this, it's been rumored for years that Drake is a damn freak. He loves strippers, and he also likes to have sex with them raw. Ooh, baby, I like it raw. And Gianni Blaze said this on the Vlad TV, you know, that at one point in time, she thought she was pregnant by Drake because of how much he was, you know, uh, ejaculating, I'm trying to be professional here, inside of her. And Gianni Blaze is just like, you know, a random stripper from Houston. So it's like, if he was, you know, busting all up inside of her, what makes you think he would use condoms with the next girl? You know what I'm saying? So Johnny, tell me exactly what your relationship with Drake is. You know, he met me in the club. We were just cool, we was kicking it. We messed around physically. On my behalf, I should have used protection. I'm not pregnant. And so I don't doubt that Drake probably did sleep with this woman. You know, because like I said, she's definitely Drake's type with the big fake ass and the huge thighs and shit. Um, so she probably is definitely, you know, his type. But, you know, a lot of these girls need to really watch it. You know, all this snitching and going to IG and trying to get attention and stuff like that. Because there's also been a lot of rumors online about how Drake has sent random goons to girls' houses who claim to be pregnant. And all of a sudden you don't hear about the pregnancy no more. And how Drake has, you know, forced some people to get abortions and all types of, you know, rumors floating around the internet. Other folks are saying that Drake does have a son, but Drake keeps it on the DL because he does not want to ruin his image. I wouldn't be surprised about that either. All right, so you guys just saw that flashback of Layla Lace. She was claiming to be pregnant by Drake, and then she literally disappeared off the scene. We ain't seen her. Well, now the other day, I was watching Vlad TV, and he was talking to Lord Jamar, and Vlad TV admitted to talking to Layla Lace. He said they were really cool, and she was going to do an interview with Vlad TV, and um, basically, she sent Vlad videos of herself. They were video chatting, and she was very much pregnant. And then after she had the baby, Vlad tried to contact her, and she basically disappeared like a ghost in the night. So she didn't know if that was Drake's baby, and they made her sign an NDA, and she couldn't talk about it, or if it came out that it was somebody else's baby. But basically, Vlad TV is saying that Lila Lace was definitely indeed pregnant. He saw it for himself. I want you guys to go ahead and listen to this audio really quick. Check this out. Here's the other thing. Skills. There was another girl who was also pregnant, and saying it was by him right around the same time. I don't know if you remember this. This girl I know as well. And we were texting a bit, and she was like, yeah, that's my baby. And, you know, she sent me a picture of her very pregnant, you know? And then right around the time the baby should have came, I never got a response anymore from her. Mm. I don't know whether she may have found out that the baby wasn't his, or maybe it was his, and she signed an NDA. Chinese or some shit. She, 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 <laughs> yeah, maybe she did, and she signed an NDA, so she can't speak about it, which I heard is what the other girl had signed. And um, yeah, man, uh, it, it's it's not a great look for Drake. Honey, when I tell you Drake is just nasty, okay? He's literally out here raw dogging any and everybody. Now, I don't know if it's Instagram profile that's blasting him. I don't know if that's Layla Lace creating a whole nother profile to start some mess or if this is a whole nother third chick. You know, but this whole situation with Drake and all these mystery children, it's getting crazier and crazier, honey, okay? I guess Drake is trying to be like his damn dad and be a damn Rolling Stone. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation with Jay Prince basically calling off the beef and telling Drake to not put out his diss track towards Pusher T. And then how do you feel about this new mysterious Instagram profile coming out and saying that Drake is a father of her child? Do you feel like this is a whole new chick or is your tin hat tingling? And do you feel like this might be Layla Lace creating a whole new Instagram profile basically trying to blast Drake. And again, like I said, Vlad TV confirmed that she was indeed pregnant when Vlad talked to her. So this whole situation is just getting messy and messy, honey. But you know what? I'm here for it, bitch, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Miss Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.